What's been going on down there in forms of dangerous legislation that's been tabled? There's a what I call a, the triad of tyranny. The identity verification bill, it is going to give the government power to capture your facial identification, your, your face, verify your ID, the digital identity bill. A digital ID system could be operating between governments and the private sector as soon as next year. Where they can collect your identity and distribute your identity and sell your identity. They need the first, the verification bill for the second to work. To wrap it all up, they've got the misinformation, disinformation bill. A terrifying piece of legislation that seeks to suffocate political debate specifically and prevent citizens from disagreeing with government policy. That's the triad of tyranny. Basically what they'll be able to do is enforce 15 minute cities. Imagine a city where everything you need is just a short walk or bike ride away. A place where work, groceries, schools and parks are all within a 15 minute radius. Welcome to the concept of a 15 minute city. It, make no mistake, it's not about your convenience. I mean, it's not about saving the planet either, by the way. The 15 minute cities, they will have to have those before they can lock you down. And that's what we're talking about here. Once you have surveillance, they start to tax you. That's what they're suffering from under Sadiq Khan is green taxes based upon surveillance. Sadiq Khan's plan to extend the city's ultra low emission zone was today ruled lawful. It expands the area in which people with more polluting vehicles face a daily charge. So that's what, that's what they're trying to do with this. And the Labour government was really shocked when I asked some very direct questions of Katie Gallagher, the uh, finance minister. The digital identity bill may be the most significant piece of legislation this 47th parliament will introduce. The effect of this bill is to tie every Australian to a digital identity that unlocks services necessary for life. It will facilitate making a digital identity check mandatory. She got into a really um, serious bout of anger with me. It is not mandatory. It is not about giving anybody a digital identity. I, I just heard the minister in her contribution say that this bill is not about a digital identity. The bill is called the Digital ID Bill 2023. I mean, if they talk about misinformation here. She put up a tweet announcing how wonderful it is that digital ID is being reintroduced into Parliament and she was immediately fact-checked by Community Notes saying that actually it's not going to be uh, voluntary, <laughs> as she said, and then Community Notes gave a whole section of other instances around the world, including India, where voluntary became a government mandate by default. The fundamental aim of their whole triad of tyranny is control. Alexandra, just, they just want to control the people.